Hi everyone, it's Sienna. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a very fun video for you guys. How important beauty is in Korea and different beauty standards have been a very highly requested video. And I'm going to post that in about a week or two. But before I post that video, I wanted to post this one first. I think it's going to help you get a better idea of, you know, beauty when I talk about the importance of beauty in my next video. So today I'm going to dive into all the different different types there are and how Koreans like to associate animal faces to how you look. So the word insang basically refers to how a person's face is portrayed. For example, if someone looks like they are frowning all the time, it might seem that they are very unapproachable or they're very strong-willed. If they have a very smiley face and they're happy all the time and they have, you know, cheekbones or sorry, if they have very full cheeks and they're very wide-eyed, it might seem that they are very friendly and they're very positive all the time. So it's just a very fun way of how Koreans like to associate how you look to different animals and what that can mean for your personality as well. So there are so many different animal types available and in Korea often when you ask someone who is your ideal type they would say like oh I like dinosaur style or I like cat style and I'm going to be associating different k-pop idols and celebrities to the animal faces so that it's just going to give you guys a better understanding. Granted, every single person is entitled to their own opinions and this is just what I found that the majority of people online associate each celebrity with. You might look at a celebrity and you might think, oh no, that person is more like a different animal and that's completely fine, but I'm just going by what the internet, the majority of the people on the internet agree to. So let's get started and hopefully by the end of the video you'll have a better understanding of what your ideal type is and also what you think your animal face is. Starting off, we are going to begin with a puppy face. We call this kangaji sang. The main features of this face is if you have very wide eyes and very soft features like a puppy. The people that have this type of face, they might seem a lot more positive and friendly. You know, they're smiling all the time so they seem more approachable and it, they might appear to be more youthful. They're perceived as looking innocent and kind and cheerful. Some celebrities with a dog face type can be IU, Park Bo Young, and Han Jimin. Do you kind of see the resemblance? This is a side note, but I always admired girls that look like this because I feel like I'm so the opposite of a puppy face. And often I notice that a lot of guys are specifically drawn to girls that look like a puppy um, because they're so cute and they're so cheerful and approachable. And I feel like you always want what you can't have. And I feel like my image is the opposite of that. But yeah, that's just a side note. Everyone has their own preferences. The next face type is a cat, 고양이 상. People with a cat face, they have very narrow, sharp eyes, usually a very pointed nose and a clear face line, like a V line. They have incredibly piercing gazes. And if you are a K-pop star, when you're on stage, you might appear more sexy. They can appear to be very intimidating and cold. However, usually people with the cat face, they have what we call 반전 매력, which is like, they might appear very intimidating, but once you get to know them you realize that they're very goofy and they're very fun. People with a cat face, they seem very charismatic and often are a lot of people's girl crushes. Some idols with a cat face can be Hedin from New Jeans, Jenny from Blackpink, and Kyungmi. So you know what I mean when I say, you know, cat faces can be like a girl crush and they're just so charismatic. Let's move on to a fox face, Samak Yeosang. The fox type is quite similar to the cat type, like they have very sharp eyes and very strong face lines. But the main difference is that those with a fox face, they have eyes that kind of turn upward. They have more of a sharp jawline and a sharper nose. A lot of Koreans call this extremely charismatic. So some celebrities with a fox face can be Jui, Kim Min Ju, Seun, and even for a guy, Seo Ingo. So I feel like Seo Ingo, I saw so many memes that he looked like that character, that fox character from Zootopia, and it's so funny. But yeah, they have more of an upward, um, 
upward shaped eyes. Next, we're gonna move on to the bunny type. Toki Sang is one of my favorite face types as well after cat faces. Um, so, bunny types are those with a very wide smile. They're usually recognized by their big, wide smile and their two front teeth that kind of resemble a cute little bunny. They usually have very large, round eyes, a big forehead, a big smile, those squishable cheeks, a small nose and lips, and they are extremely lovable. Some celebrities that have a bunny type face according to the internet are twice. Nayeon, of course, she's a big one. Jungkook and also Suji. I think they all have such beautiful smiles and it's so adorable. Moving on to a horse face. Now this is often associated with men specifically. An elongated face, sometimes a long nose, a strong jawline, a very prominent jawline, and very straight big teeth are some of the main features of a horse face. It just sounds like a cuss when you say like you're a horse face. <laughs> I don't know, but in Korean, that's none of these are a diff. It's just how we categorize different faces. So people with a horse face, they have very kind eyes. And I'm going to show you pictures in a second so that it's going to make more sense for you. But they have very kind eyes, so they seem very friendly and approachable. Some celebrities with a horse face can be Choi Siwon and Kim Dong-wan. A lot of people, when you ask them who is your ideal type, they would often say, oh, men that look like a horse. Next, we have a turtle face. Now, this is a very distinguishable face type and it's very rare but once you see it you'll know that she has a turtle face that he or she has a turtle face so although it might sound strange a turtle face doesn't actually refer to the actual turtle that we see in real life but it's usually referred to the cartoon character you know in the anime pocket Pokemon. You know in the anime Pokemon, they have that cute little turtle, Squirtle. So people with this face type, they don't actually look like the animal turtle, but they look like Squirtle. This character has a very round face, a cute, beautiful smile, you know, a big smile, big cheeks, and they're just so cute. Celebrities with the turtle face is Sola and Yeti. Next, let's move on to dinosaurs. Now, dinosaurs alongside a horse face is also usually referred to men specifically. Dinosaur faces are known to be extremely charismatic. You know, they have very strong features. Some of the features refer to a very strong, prominent jawline. You know, they usually have a very prominent cheekbones, smaller eyes, a slightly elongated face. Since a dinosaur face type is very manly, it is usually referred to men um, that have dinosaur type faces. Although it is very manly, usually it is referred to men that look a little bit more innocent. So some K-pop idols with a dinosaur type face according to the internet is Johnny, Gongyu, Kimubin, and Tap. Next, we have the monkey typeface, and I think this is also one of my favorites because I don't know, I feel like people with the monkey typeface, they're very funny and they are extremely positive and they can make you laugh every single day. I think they radiate some type of positivity into your life. So when you picture a monkey, remember to picture a really cute monkey with a really big smile and you know, cute ears that kind of open to the side of their heads. Um, I think for me, when we look at different ideal types in men, I think monkey face type is my ideal type. So some celebrities with a monkey face according to the internet is Yuain and G-Dragon. Uh, they have a very cute mischievous smile. Next, we have the deer type face. So deer face is quite similar to doe eyes. So, you know, when you think of Bambi, they have really beautiful big eyes. Um, their face line is very soft. They're very elegant, very sophisticated. They have a very fairy tale or like ethereal vibe that comes off of them. They're very pretty and you just want to protect them. So some celebrities that have deer-like faces are Arin and Kim Chewon. Next, we're gonna move on to the snake 
type face. Um, usually for a snake type, you can picture Slytherin as well. Like they are very, very unique. Usually it just seems like it's not real. Like for example, if you think about Karina, like she doesn't seem real. Like there's something like she has an AI type beauty about her. Um, so she would be a snake type face. Her image is very strong. You know, she's hard to miss and it's incredibly rare and unique and it's beautiful. So that basically concludes all of the different animal faces in Korean that people can associate different face types by. Let me know what you think in the comments below, what you think your own face type is. I always struggle to find mine because I feel like a lot of people say that I have a cat face, but then when I smile, I look like a bunny because I have a lot of cheeks. <laughs> and also you can kind of get a better understanding of your personality that you give off in your first impression. I will be back next week or the week after with a more in-depth beauty standards video in Korea. So thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to follow my social media if you want to. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll be back next time. Bye!